Rockingham flips the switch on the Christmas tree. A failure to stop traffic stop turns into a high speed chase, and Cascades is bringing jobs to the Sand Hill region. That and more all coming your way on your Wednesday edition of Live at Five. Richmond County's news starts right now. Mayor Steve Morris was only halfway through the countdown before the city's Christmas tree lit up in Cole Plaza on Tuesday. A small crowd braved the 42 degree temperatures for the annual ceremony, waiting in the dark for the flip of the switch. Prior to the lighting, the L.J. Bell Elementary School Chorus sang a hip-hop version of Up on the Rooftop and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Lighting the tree this year were Roger Staley of the Richmond Community Foundation and Neil Cadu of the Cole Foundation. As the students continue to sing, ending with, We wish you a Merry Christmas, parents took photos of their children in front of the tree and took advantage of the free hot chocolate and cookies available. Let it go, oh, 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 On Tuesday evening around 6 p.m., the Richmond County Sheriff's Office attempted to pull over a vehicle for a stop sign violation. The driver, Dakario McKinnon, refused to stop and a pursuit, a, per, a pursuit ensued. During the pursuit, McKinnon intentionally struck a deputy patrol car. The deputy was not injured, but McKinnon was eventually stopped at the intersection of Osborne Road and Ellerby Grove Church Road in Rockingham. During the pursuit, McKinnon had an 18-month-old child in the back seat of his vehicle. After strong smells of marijuana were recognized by deputies, a search warrant was issued for the vehicle. Investigators located approximately 10 pounds of suspected marijuana in the vehicle. McKinnon was also charged with other drug violations from an earlier ongoing investigation. McKinnon was placed in jail under a secured bond of half a million dollars. Governor Roy Cooper announced on Tuesday that Cascades has selected Scotland County for a significant expansion of its operations. The company will invest $58 million and create 66 new jobs over two years. Cascades will add a variety of positions with this expansion, including production operators, maintenance, and logistics personnel. Total payroll impact for the new jobs will top $3.1 million annually. Cascades expansion in Scotland County will be facilitate, facilitated rather in part by a job development investment grant approved by the state's Economic Investment Committee earlier today. Over the course of the six-year term of this grant, the project will grow the state's economy by an estimated $143 million. When we return, I'll be bringing you a Live at 5 weather report. What is the weather going to be like for Raider Stadium on Friday? We'll let you know right after this. At Richmond Community College, we can prepare you for a high-skill, high-paying career in a variety of fields. From business to education, engineering, utilities, healthcare, criminal justice, information technology, and human services. At Richmond Community College, we can save you thousands of dollars on tuition through our university transfer programs that provide a seamless transition to universities and colleges throughout North Carolina. At Richmond Community College, we are always developing new courses and programs in response to the communities we serve. We offer day, evening, and online courses, and you can now complete five curriculum programs entirely online. At Richmond Community College, we believe in helping you prepare for a better life. Richmond Community College, local college, big impact. Hayden Construction has two new homes under construction at two distinct locations, 125 Crystal Court in Carolina Hills and on Robertdale School Road. Both feature incredible floor plans and distinct features inside and out. Hayden Construction, quality, value, and beauty. Call Jamie Smart at 910-331-5811 or Nicole Hayden at 910-995-0717 today to schedule an appointment. Exit Realty, making dreams a reality. Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts is all about rustic home decor and gifts. You will always find a variety of unique antiques, vintage, and new items in our shop. Come and see our selection of housewarming, new baby, and wedding gifts. For the man in your life, we have many collectibles, boker knives, and leather. And ladies love the jewelry, purses, candles, hats, and t-shirts. 
We also offer a 30-day layaway program. Come and experience shopping at Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts. Today's Live at 5 weather report is brought to you by HCI Fire and Water Restoration. And we've had another beautiful day's worth of weather so far today. Much the same for tomorrow. Taking a look at the map behind me down in Lumberton, a high of 53, low of 38. For tomorrow up in Fayetteville, exact same temps, high of 53, low of 38. And just beside there, Rayford, 52 and 39 for your high and low for tomorrow. Just above me here on the map in Southern Pines, high of 51, low of 38. Then as we make our way, of course, into Richmond County on the northern side in Ellerby, a high of 52, low of 39. Right here in Rockingham, same temperatures, high of 52, low of 39. Going to obviously get very, very cold tomorrow. Over in Wadesboro, a high of 52 as well. You guessed it, low of 39. And then down in Larnburg, still the same, low of 39, a high just a temperature above us in uh, of 53. So taking a look at the five-day weather forecast tomorrow night, it's going to be Hospice Haven's Forever Tree. Should have beautiful weather for that as the sun goes down. During the day, though, no rain expected. A high of 52, low of 39. Much as we said throughout the week so far, if you're heading out to that, or if you're just heading out in general, of course, want to make sure that you've got a bundled jacket on. For Friday, the big game, Raider Stadium. Friday day, beautiful again. Once again, uh, no rain expected. A high of 64 during the day, so actually might get up uh, and be nice uh, and a little bit warm if you're out in the sun. Of course, that's going to dip all the way down to 47 on Friday night when we hope you'll be out at Raider Stadium. Make sure to bring those hand warmers and a toboggan, maybe two or three jackets. Uh, also, as we've been anticipating, we may be hoping that it would go away or come sooner and then go away. Uh, Saturday, rain is in the forecast. On uh, Saturday, as you can see, a 60% chance that day of rain. High of 64, the low only going down to 61, so it will be significantly warmer at night. It'll just be raining. But on Sunday, much the same, 50% chance of precipitation that day. High all the way up to 71, so again, it's going to be warm even though it will be raining. So a uh, little stark contrast from what we've seen from uh, beautiful days and cold weather. Going to heat up again, but like I said, we're expecting rain. Low of 53 that night. But as we get into the beginning of next week, Monday should be another beautiful day on the calendar. Partly cloudy throughout the day. High of 66, low of 45. So the temperatures over the next five days, uh, jumping up and down as far as the lows and highs for the next uh, few days here. As you can see, 39 the low, all the way up to 71 for a high. So uh, just like typical North Carolina weather, as we enter December, could be wearing shorts one day, could be wearing a parka the next. Make sure to dress accordingly. And that's going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report. When we turn, we've got your Oro Sports update coming up right after the break, so stay tuned. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. At Kyocera, we see your company differently. We see your documents, how they're accessed, what it takes to keep them secure, and how well your workflow is flowing. Kyocera helps your entire document infrastructure run more efficiently, securely, and cost-effectively. And what we see is an opportunity to integrate all of it.
Tuesday marked the season opener for the Lady Raider basketball team Teddy Mosley has been waiting for since he was hired in June. The season officially began by hosting non-conference opponent Whiteville High School, and they outlasted the Lady Wolfpack down the stretch, winning 43-38. The win gave Mosley his first career victory, while it also marked the first time Richmond has won its first game of the season since defeating Sherrall High School to open the 2013-2014 campaign. Richmond and Whiteville both got off to a slow start in the first quarter, as the Lady Raiders used baskets by senior Talia Wall, sophomore Jakira Covington, and freshman Aaliyah Sweeney to hold a small 6-3 lead after the first eight minutes of play. Richmond will be off until Friday, December 3rd, when it will travel to Pine Forest High School for its second game of the season. That will also be the Raider boys basketball team season opener as well. The Richmond CC Choir will perform a free concert on Tuesday, December 4th at 6.30 p.m. at the Cole Auditorium. Comprised of Richmond Community College students, faculty, and staff, the Richmond CC Choir is set to entertain with the varying range and vocal talents of the singers led by choir director and pianist Dr. Kimberly Gord, who has prepared a unique arrangement of holiday songs intermingled with some artistic configurations of sounds and songs that complement the talents of the choir members. The Richmond CC Choir's Christmas concert is free and open to the public. The performance will be held in the lobby of Cole Auditorium. And that's going to do it for another edition of Live at 5. Be sure to download the RO app for your mobile device. And for all the latest news in Richmond County, visit richmondobserver.com. Of course, be sure to tune in to Good Morning Sand Hills every morning from 6.30 to 8.30 a.m. And catch the RO Sports Show each Thursday at 5.30 p.m. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Matt Harrelson. Good night, Richmond County.